friends welcome to zeta axis and today we are going to discuss about krishna river system the krishna river originates in mahabaleswar in maharashtra it flows through karnataka telangana and andhra pradesh before flowing into bay of bengal the krishna river's total length is 1400 km making it fifth longest river flowing through india however it is the third longest river flowing within indian territory after ganga and godavari the krishna river basin extends over an area of 258948 square kilometer which is nearly 8% of total geographical area of india the krishna's river basin is fifth largest river basin for river flowing through india however within indian territory krishna river basin is fourth largest river basin krishna river basin is spread across maharashtra karnataka telangana and andhra pradesh now let's discuss the course of krishna river the krishna river originates in western ghats near mahabaleswar in satara district of maharashtra after the origin of krishna river it flows in satara district within satara district it meets koina river Koina river also originates near Mahabaleswar in Satara district unlike most of the other rivers in Maharashtra which flow from east to west the Koina river flows in north south direction Koina dam is built on Koina river within Satara district and the reservoir created by the Koina dam is called Shiv Sagar lake the Koina river meets Krishna river within Satara district from Satara district the Krishna river enters Sangli district in Sangli Krishna river is joined by Yarla river originating from Satara district from Sangli the Krishna river flows along the boundary of Kolapur where it meets river Panchaganga Panchaganga is formed by confluence of five local streams out of which one stream is considered to be underground the river is of prime religious importance the river merges with Krishna river on borders of Kolapur From Kolhapur the Krishna river crosses into Karnataka's Belgavi district in Belgavi Dud Ganga river meets Krishna river the Dud Ganga river originates in Kolhapur and flows towards Belgavi in Belgavi Ved Ganga river joins Dud Ganga river after the confluence of these rivers the combined stream joins Krishna river within Belgavi district From Belgavi the Krishna river reaches Bagalkot district where Ghat Prava river joins Krishna river Ghat Prava river originates from Patakwadi lake in Kolhapur Hidgal dam is a dam constructed across Ghat Prava river in Belgavi district during its flow the Ghat Prava river is joined by Hiranyakeshi river and Markandeya river the Ghat Prava river finally joins Krishna river in Bagalkot district at Chiksangam Almati dam is constructed on Krishna river just after the confluence of Ghat Prava and Krishna river within Bagalkot district Malprava river joins Krishna river the Malprava river originates in western ghats in Belgavi district Renuka Sagar dam is constructed on Malprava river in Belgavi district Malprava river then flows further to join Krishna river in Bagalkot district Basava Sagar dam previously known as Narayanpura dam is a dam constructed across Krishna river at Yadgir district of Karnataka just after the dam Doni river joins Krishna river in Raichur district of Karnataka Bhima river joins Krishna river Bhima river is an important left bank tributary of Krishna river the Bhima river originates in western ghats in Pune district within Pune district Mula Mutha river joins Bhima from Pune district Bhima river enters Solapur where Ujjaini dam is built on Bhima river within Solapur Neera river originating from Pune joins Bhima river on Karnataka Maharashtra border in Solapur Sina river originating from Ahmednagar merges with Bhima river the Bhima river enters Karnataka in Kalaburagi district where Benithoda river along with its tributary Kagna river merges with Bhima river the Bhima river flows further and joins Krishna river in Raichur district of Karnataka after the confluence of bhima river the krishna river moves further into telangana the krishna river enters telangana in narayanpet district and then it moves forward in jogulamba gadwal district where the krishna river meets tungbhadra river the tungbhadra river is formed by confluence of 
टू रिवर्स तुंगा रिवर एंड भद्र रिवर बोध दिज रिवर्स ओरिजिनेट इन चिकमंगलुरु डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ कर्नाटका ऑन वेस्टर्न घाट्स आफ्टर इमर्जिंग फ्रॉम द सोर्स द भद्रा रिवर फ्लोज थ्रू कुदरमुख माउंटेन रीजन भद्रा डैम इज बिल्ट ऑन भद्रा रिवर इन चिकमंगलुरु डिस्ट्रिक्ट द तुंग भद्रा रिवर राइजेस फ्रॉम वेस्टर्न घाट्स ऑन अ हिल नोन एज वरा पर्वत एट अ प्लेस कॉल गंगमूला From here, the Tunga River flows through two districts in Karnataka: Chikmagalur district and Shimoga district. After flowing for around 150 kilometers, the Tunga River is joined by Bhadra River at Kudli in Shimoga city of Karnataka. The river is then called Tunga Bhadra. The Tunga Bhadra River flows through Devangiri and reaches Haveri, where it meets Vardha River. The Vardha River originates near Shimoga district of Karnataka. it flows through the western ghats and enters the central districts of karnataka that is haveri and bellari the river joins the tungabhadra river in haveri district of karnataka tungabhadra river passes through vijayanagar district where tungabhadra dam is built on the river the tungabhadra river flows through bellari district where vedavati also called hageri river joins tungabhadra river the vedavati river rises from baba Udanagiri mountains of western ghats in Chikmagalur district of Karnataka it is formed by merger of two streams Veda and Avathi Vani Vilasa Sagar dam is constructed on Vedavathi river in Chitradurga district of Karnataka the Vedavathi river flows through Andhra Pradesh and returns to Bellary of Karnataka where it meets Tungabhadra river the Tungabhadra river after the confluence of Vedavathi enters Andhra Pradesh in Kurnool district where San Kesula Barrage is constructed on Tungabhadra River. The Tungabhadra River flows further to meet Krishna River in Andhra Pradesh in Jogulamba Gadwal district. Sri Salam Dam is constructed across Krishna River in Nandayal district of Andhra Pradesh and Nagar Kurnool district of Telangana. The Krishna River continue to flow along Andhra and Telangana border on the way it meets Dindi River originating from Telangana plateau. Dindi reservoir is constructed on the Dindi river. Nagarjun Sagar dam is constructed across Krishna river on borders of Nalgonda district of Telangana and Palnadu district of Andhra Pradesh. Krishna river then flows into Nalgonda district where it merges with Musi river. The Musi river originates in Vikrabad district of Telangana. Hyderabad city is situated on the banks of Musi river which divides the historic city into two parts. The Musi River flows into Himalayan Sagar and Osman Sagar which are artificial lakes that act as reservoir and it once supplied water to the twin cities of Hyderabad and Secunderabad. Musi reservoir is built on Musi River in Nalgonda district. The Musi River flows into Krishna River near Nalgonda district. The Krishna continues to flow further in NTR district where Palleru River and Munneru River join Krishna River. Prakasham barrage is built in Vijayawada NTR district of Andhra Pradesh. The Pollavaram right bank canal connects Krishna river with Godavari river. Water from Godavari river is brought into Krishna river just before the Prakasham barrage. The irrigation canals of Prakasham barrage form part of National Waterway 4. Moreover, the Krishna Godavari delta is also known as rice granary of India. I hope you like this video and if you like this video then do not forget to subscribe our channel and share it with our friends do follow us on our twitter and instagram accounts the links are given over here thank you